All right, well, the Red Wings, they have a new home, and soon Joe Louis Arena, it'll come down. Yeah, now the mayor of Detroit's proposing a new way to honor the late iconic boxer the arena is named after. 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith's live along the Riverwalk this morning. So, Matt, how will this area play a role? Well, this area, the Detroit Riverwalk, will be a big part of it if the mayor has his way. He would actually like to name the Riverwalk in a green way that's going to connect it to numerous communities after Joe Lewis. And, you know, you take a look at this way. Uh, yeah, it's already quite a big distance here along the Riverwalk. A lot of renovations over the past few years. But the new idea to add to it, it's pretty simple, but the impact is much bigger than you can imagine. Mayor Duggan is looking to connect multiple neighborhoods to Detroit and this Riverwalk through what he'd like to be known as the Joe Lewis Greenway. You can see the proposed connecting cities on your screen here. That's Hamtramck, Highland Park, Ferndale, and Dearborn. Now, to connect all four cities to the Riverwalk, you need an estimated 26-mile loop, a combo pedestrian slash biking path that is being proposed now. It would come with a hefty price tag, too. The project would come in at an estimated $235 million. It would also continue to move up to spruce up this area. Now, as we reported back in June on 7 Action News this year, they're also working to build Atwater Beach along the riverfront, a barge slash beach bar equipped with a playground for kids as well. That project already under development. Now, there are a number of other projects along this area as well, but the Joe Lewis Greenway would be the newest. It'd be the costliest, and it would bring a lot of people to this area, really connect four different communities to downtown Detroit. Now we'll have to take a look at what they plan to do with that funding and whether or not City Council wants to move forward with that plan. Of course, as always, we'll keep an eye on it for you. Reporting live this morning, Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Yeah,